friends, Anthony here again. Uh, today we are going to learn some really cool licks. Uh, I'm going to teach you 10 great gypsy jazz licks from players like Sebastian Gigno, Borelli Legrain, Angelo Debar, and more. Lick number one comes from Sebastian Gigno. It is a 2-5-1 lick and it goes like this. One, two, a one, two, three. We're playing in the E minor chord, the A minor shape though. If you don't understand A minor shape, you should get my instruction book, Manifesting Manouche, and it explains the different shapes of arpeggios. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's go a, a medium tempo. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Now let's go a slow tempo. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's go a snail tempo. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Lick number two comes from us from the great Borelli Lagrain. Um, and it goes like this. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so this lick is uh, uh, over a D chord. We start it up here over this D shape, over the this part of the D shape, and then we're jumping down into the E shape of your D chord, right? So let's do it fast. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do it medium. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do it slow. One, two, one, two, three. Four. Okay, now let's do it super slow. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, great lick to play over the one chord. Lick number three is Chavalo Schmidt's lick. And it goes like this. So this lick has a lot of versatility. You could play it as a, a, over a 2-5-1 if you're going from the A minor 7 right here to the D7 to the G. You can go... into your G, right? Or if you're just doing an A minor like in minor swing. All right, so let's try different tempos. One, two, a one, two, three, four. All right, let's go medium. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. A one, two, one, two, three, four. Slow, one. Two, one, two, three, four. Super slow. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, lick number four comes from Angelo Debar. And this is another 2-5-1 lick. So I'm going to do it again over E minor, going to A7. Okay, and it goes like this. A one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so you start up here, and then you go down here. Yes, 2-5-1, great one for 2-5-1 licks. Let's do it at different tempos. A one, two, three, four, one. Medium, a one, two, three, four, one. 
Slow. A one, two, a one, two, three, four, one. Super slow. A one, two, three, four, one. Number five comes from Benoit Convert. This is one of my favorites. So this is a great one to do over Coquette or any song that does two measures of the one chord and then goes into a two five thing, which is tons of songs, depending, you know, you just have to switch the keys. And it goes like this. Okay. Um, so this is, a, this is kind of a long one. It starts in the one chord over the E shape right here of, the, of our uh, D chord, right? This is a D chord, we're playing an E shape at the 10th fret. So it starts in the one chord, and then it travels up here into the D shape up here, and then goes down into your two, five, one. Let's play it fast. A one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it medium. A one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it slow. A one, two, three, four. Now let's do it snail slow. A one, two, three, four. Number six is another lick from Sebastian Gignot. This is a flaming fast one, one of my favorites. It goes like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, now this lick goes over the one chord. I'm playing it in D, and it starts up here in this D shape right here, and then it travels down into the E shape, and it ends with this little uh, D major 7, where you've got 10, 11, 11, 10, yeah, okay, so let's do it some different tempos, fast, a 1, 2, 3, 4, all right, medium, a 1, 2, 3, 4, Slow, a one, two, three, four. Lick number seven is another Borelli Lagrain lick. Okay, this is another great one. Here it goes. A one, two, three, four. We got a nice travel, it's a short one. So this starts down here. This is basically over the E shape. This is over an E chord. So it kind of starts in this, you know, and then you're jumping up here into the A shape, like that. Let's do it at full speed. A one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Let's do it at slow speed. A one, two, three, four. Okay, now super slow. A one, two, three, four. Okay, this next one is from uh, Gonzalo Bergara. And this one is over a minor chord. So I'm going to do it down here at uh, the D minor. So D minor chord, but it's using the A minor shape. So let's go fast. A one, two, three, four, one. 
medium speed. A one, two, three, four, one. Slow. A one, two, three, four, one. Super slow. One, two, three, four, one. Lick number nine comes from Sebastian Gino again. This one is in a playing out lick. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now this one is usually in a B section of a song where the one chord becomes, where you go from the one chord to the dominant chord. So you go from like D, for example, to D7 to G, and then down to E7, to A7, getting you back around to the D again, right? So when the D goes to that dominant chord, you do this little out, which is basically you're doing a D sharp minor chord over a D7 dominant chord, right? And now you've just gone into the G. So now let's play at different speeds. Let's go fast. A one, two, three, four. Let's go medium. A one, two, three, four. Let's go slow. A one, two, three, four. Super slow. One, two, three, four. Lick number 10 comes from Adrian Monyard, and this is over an A minor chord in the E minor shape. One, two, three, four. So this starts in this e, uh, e minor shape over an A minor chord. He goes over to the seven, the seventh of the chord, and then he slides up into into this shape, into the, what I call the C minor shape. So, and he, he repeats the seventh of the arpeggio both times. So to go over an A minor or any minor chord, basically. So let's go different pit tempos. A one, two, three, four. Medium. A one, two, three, four. Slow. A one, two, three, four. Super slow. One, two, three, Okay, that is lick number 10. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, please buy my instruction book, Manifesting Manoush, if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you soon.